Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. After thinking it very carefully regarding my team, and giving you guys some suggestions on maybe some ideas on what I can do, while I was walking from work, I had a little idea, or an epiphany if you will. I think that I can get some more reserved Pokemon to use my party, one extra Pokemon, for every gym badge I win. So I've already decided one Pokemon to be used as a reserve and it's in my party right now. I decided to get Trap Inch, which is also known as Raito Gurin, which was the name given to me. Raito Gurin, I believe is Japanese for light green. And of course Trap Inch isn't light green, but it's finally evolved form Flygon is. With that said, I think we should just keep going in a Get that stuff back for the Devon Corporation. I almost forgot about that. Huh, Ninkata. I actually had to go through, like, a different site to find other cheats to use. Because the current cheats that I was using, for some stupid reason, froze up my game and gives you a black screen. In other words, I had to get a different set of production replay codes in order to get ones that I wanted. Oh, guess we're not gonna have a double battle. Seeing as how the hiker looked away. Oh well. <laughs> Johnson. Okay, since Trap Inch is ground, I might want to switch out. I'll go KFC. That wasn't even a grass move. Might as well use a fire move. Cause that's how I get shit done. So yeah, considering that there are eight badges for me to get, it'll give me a total of eight new Pokemon by the time I reach Pokemon League. And I mean, I think that's fair, that gives you a lot more flexibility. Like, in the end, you'll have lots, but probably at the beginning, you won't have so much. And I think that's alright. I mean, that seems pretty fair. I mean, given what I have to work with. I mean, of course, the ideas of new reserves are, of course, going to be the Pokemon that you have selected to be starters in the first place. So if I didn't make your selection at the start, chances are I might make it at the end. That way everyone will be happy. That was fun, even though I lost. Hmm. Okay, since that's gonna be a hiker, chances are it's gonna have rock types. Therefore, I'm better off bringing up Toadstool. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Well, duh, you're a hiker. You're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> just as I thought, a Geodude. I spotted it coming, and now I'm prepared. There we go. Ooh, perfect. <gasps> Losing made me tired. Well, you should've won! Then again, you're probably loaded with fat anyway. We'll rock you hard! Like, you and what army? I'm gonna guess a bunch of Geodudes. Oh, there's one. Wanna bet another one's waiting for me? I, like, I bet you he's just gonna have another Geodude. Like, that seems to be hiker tradition from Gen 1 to 4. I mean, every hiker's gotta have at least several Geodudes. He must really like dudes, or anything with dudes in it. Or Geo stuff. Maybe he likes geocaching with a lot of dudes, but couldn't decide between two, so he figured, you know what, I'll get a geo dude. That way everyone's happy. What the hell am I talking about? And anyway, whatever. I usually like to ramble on random stuff, because it's fun. Ay ay ay! No contest at all! Clearly, you just got the same Pokemon. Of course, it's not going to be any contest. Yeah, cut that for me. Eh, 
I'll get that item over there. Just so you know, I've never once been bested by anyone at anything. Really? When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, your beauty will render you helpless. Oh my god, I am having a stroke for looking at fur. Oh my god. Sarah and Dawson. Lotad and Zigzagoon. Okay, fair enough. Now, let's see. Probably go with Bullet Seed for you and Tackle for you. Like, I know it's a grass type, but it's also water as well. So I'll do a decent amount of damage. Not much, though. It all depends on how well the bullet seed works, and ooh, we've got the maximum five. But at least I'm not worried about damage being inflicted on me. Because it won't be high at all. Uh, I think I'll use a tackle on you, too. And focus my attacks on the low tad. Okay, that worked. Ah, you got a zigzagoon of your own. Ah, crap, growl. It works on both of us. And we might as well just focus on that one, because if we take out the other zigzagoon, then of course we're going to have to deal with that one too. With an extra Pokemon, I mean. I mean, I could always switch out if I wanted, but I might as well let these guys gain some levels. Yeah, I get it. My attack is down. Full restore! You got those already? Well, at least that's a burn turn. Funny, I thought the rich boy would be the one with the full restores. Eh, whatevs. We're supposed to take our time and enjoy this, really. Hmm, good thing they're not hitting us. No, I think I'll go with Jaws. Might as well get a fresh Pokemon in. Huh, you attacked the one that wasn't even tail whipped. You fail. Oh, sweet. Alright, what you got next? China. Not a bad choice. I think I'll use Rage. Tackle. Anyway, the more I use my Rage, the stronger it becomes. Just gotta keep building. Oh yeah! Double team win! Oh, it's so, alright. It's so. Uh, let's see. In case I get another double battle, I'll just put KFC on the top. All that for a potion. Might as well get another double battle, just for the hell of it. We learned all sorts of things at the trainer school. I'm gonna test things out for real. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Um, sure. Go ahead. But I don't think it'll last. Like those other boyfriends you were with. Ooh! You mad? Okay, so Meryl and Ralts I have to deal with. Uh, go with Bullet Seed. And cut on you. I 
get at least three. Ooh, or a critical. I only needed two. I can live with that. <laughs> Growl, you fail. Could have used confusion. Could have, but didn't, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, that was easy. I slacked off in school. That's why I lost. You're a notch above me. Just, just one notch? I, I could have swore I was over like 50. What the? Ugh. Oh. That was just some kind of flicker. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Oh, peanut berries. And chesto berries. Okay. And more chesto berries. I'll get three more peanut berries. I don't know where I pick them. I rarely use them. But I do it anyway. Because I can. That's a free country. Enough said. Who the hell are you? Ooh, roar! What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled, filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and start all the Pokemon into an uproar. Tomorrow's rest house, okay. I thought there was something in that little nook. Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico! Chill pill, Grandpa, and I'll take care of your bird. Maybe I'll get a little hungry. I mean, get a little generous. I'll set him free. Oh, man, who's been smoking the dope here? I've been smoking some of that good shit. What? Are you coming? Come and get some, then. Okay, you asked for it. But it seems I got triggered into an enemy encounter with a Wismer. It's really a normal type, kind of useless. I suggest it's not worth your time. It ain't worth mine. Ah, kill Hull it all! That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you! So you want to battle me? Um, okay, why not? Let's go. You and me. Uh, Puchaina? Okay. Uh, if only I still had Magic Blue in my party. That would have really come in handy. But alas, it's in the box. Let me stun for you. Go ahead, I don't care. What? I missed? How could you miss a paralyzed foe? Uh, it keeps using Howl, raising its attack. Hmm, is that all you're gonna do, really? I'll just keep doing this, too. You're not gonna like it, but you're gonna have to deal with it. There, you're done. How do you like me now, Kuchaina? Probably not very much, but I don't care. Ugh, my career in crime comes to a dead end. Yeah, you shouldn't really say that right next to a dead end. This is playing not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. <laughs> you want it back that badly? Take it. That I will. Oh. 
Well, Pico's still with me, so there you go. Pico! Am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Ah, so you're Bonga. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near, P near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pew! Okay, you do that, and... That was a dead end. <laughs> Very ironic. Guess I won't be coming there yet. That goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Good for you. You do that. To get to Vernon Turf Town without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Dewford, sail onto Slateport, and travel through Mauville. Eh, that's not much. That rust of tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but we had to stop. It turns out that we would have a negative effect on all Pokemon in the area. So we got nothing to do but loll around here doing nothing. Now, the name rust is kind of... Gets the name from the two towns that are right between it, Rustboro and Verdanturf. Yeah, they ran out of ideas in a hurry. There's a man digging his way to Verdanturf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and will avoid harming the natural environment. I wonder if he made it through yet. Nah, I doubt it. Actually, he's still right there. Unless there's someone else digging. Alright, another Wizmir. Eh, I don't really need the fight, so let's just go on. Considering the uh, next gym is fighting, I might want to boost up Mirage. I doubt I'm going to do it against Abra, because he'll just run away immediately. Or teleport. It's another Abra. Won't let me run, but he'll run himself. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, after some leveling I learned Double Team. Now, Double Team is a move that I hate when it's done on me. You know why. Especially when it's spammed. Like, we've all had some terrible memories from Double Team at one point. Oh, I forgot to give that to you. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer! I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. Oh wow, another Great Ball. Thanks. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It'd be awful those robbers tried to take it again. Eh, <laughs> so could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Huh? You're not giving me much of a choice, but okay. Our president would like you to ha like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Just a few steps and needed his own song. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. Can you fire the staff so you can be my only employee? I mean, I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Oh, okay, I'm heading there anyway. Now, you should know that I am a great president. Well, oh, talk about ego. So I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. Hey, you are a great president, a Pokenav. 
That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or PokéNav for short, is an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dooford and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. Yes, I'll fall asleep right in front of your desk. Well then, Bonga, go with caution and care. Yeah, Captain Stern, whatever. Oh, what's this? A collection of rare rocks and stones assembled by the President. And pretty much the same thing. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't made much headway. You're fired. Oh wow! That's a Pokenev! It came about as a result of our President's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like me to describe its features in detail? No, no, I think you'll find out just by trying the Poke Pokenev out. Okay. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't had much success. You guys are useless. A device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. Can you do anything right? Well now, what shall I work on developing next? Our company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One couldn't ask for a better environment as an engineer. How about an idea that works? I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And it's working! Oh my god, you deserve a promotion! You actually did something that works! You should be very proud. I better be welcome, for saving your asses. Okay, time to go. Huh? What do you want? I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great! Banga, may I see that Pokenav, the one our president gave you? There you go, Banga. I added a new feature called Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokenav. Banga, our President Stone should be registered in your Pokenav. Test it out! Give our President a call! Um, okay. Alright, check Pokemon in detail, you don't really need. Match Call. Oh! Banga? Since you called me, the Pokenav must be working properly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Mm, how can I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Ha <laughs> ha See you again. Uh huh. Okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Bonga. I will. But anyways, I should talk to other people that I fought in Pokemon battles to see if I can register them. And later on in the game, I can actually unlock rematches, which allows them to get stronger. Though I think it's after the uh, fifth match with them that you just stop trying. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part, I'll meet you back at Little Roots, because I need to go talk to Mom. Goodbye, everyone.